everybody on here sitting here in front of the tiny house having my coffee and it's gonna rain today it's definitely gonna rain today so I don't know what I'm gonna get done I kind of want to have a look around at things but um, I've let the chickens out and I've already checked the chickens in the back so I'm gonna show you that here are the baby chickens there's two on the outside two of the black ones one black inside and four of the white ones inside with mama they are all doing really well. Oh my gosh, they're just so cute. I'm not gonna go back in there because I don't need to. Because over here, see that nesting box? That's where I put their water. And then their food is down there in that little pan, <laughs> secured by a brick so they can't knock it over. And it looks like they still have plenty of water and it still looks pretty good, so I'll go check it out again later today. But just look at these. Oh, they are just so adorable. They can't figure out how to get back into Mama. Well, they'll figure it out eventually. Only got two eggs so far. But that's okay. Because the day is young. They're back to laying in the nesting box. The file cabinet. It's starting to rain, so I don't know. Today may be sort of an indoor day today. I didn't think it was going to rain that hard, but... Oh my goodness. You guys gotta look at this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Do you guys remember when I first moved here and I saw some mushrooms growing over here and I wasn't sure what they were, but I found out they've come back. They've come back another year. These are veiled oyster mushrooms and they are delicious. Um, I think these are pretty brand new. Let me just feel. Yep, yep, they're pretty brand new. I am going to see if they will get just a little bit bigger and then I'm going to harvest them and eat them up. Let me see if I can get a shot of the underside so you can see what it looks like. Can you see that very well? I don't know if it's really in focus. It's not light enough, but it's got the gills. You can see the little veil. Let's see if I can just get a still picture with some flash. There we go. That's not too bad. No bugs. Yes, this must be a fresh mushroom. There's the cluster of two. Oh, they're gorgeous. Speaking of fungus, oh my gosh, what is it? What is it? Ew, oh, it's like, oh, it's like a slime. I have no idea what this is. God, I hope it's not poisonous. I'm gonna go wash my hands. Look at that. That looks like it just cropped up overnight. Very weird. chickens and my pretty rooster. Apparently they do have enough sense to come in out of the rain. <laughs> I really do love, love this little spot. It's their own little chill out zone. And I'm so glad because on the really hot sunny days, man, they just lounge around right over here. Yep, I'm pretty happy with that. Put their food over there. Hopefully it won't get all wet. We'll see. Okay, there's the wren nest and I'm not going to go in there. She's came back to her nest and she is still roosting or not roosting she's still sitting on her eggs so maybe i'll have some baby wrens soon goodness look at this this is such a mess in here okay this dirty old pan is what i roasted the chicken in i've washed it out i am going to do an experiment with something this piece of glass and this and if it works i will go get a, a brand new one of these and uh well can you guess can you guys guess what I'm going to try and do with this? Yeah, we'll see. I got a little bit more potting soil, so I'm going to do another planter. I don't know what it is I'm going to plant, but I'll figure it out. Uh, 
and behold, my shower stall. I don't know if you guys remember, but I had another one of these, and I didn't really use it very much. Um, I mean, I, during the summer I did, not during the winter. Um, and I was going to put the hula hoop shower curtain up, but you know what? This was cheap. I don't, I think it cost like 30 bucks or something like that. And I need to level it out. I haven't tied the ties the right way yet. But it just, I put it up on this palette because it's bigger. These, they aren't really providing any further privacy because I don't need any. Um, just a little bit more of a windbreak. Uh, but I may end up using these to do some container gardening. But it's just a very simple little thing. You just go on in. You get a bucket. And you get your shower head and you shower up. No, that's not the permanent shower mat. But I will be getting a shower mat to go down here that drains nicely. Because this has a slotted floor and it's wood and you don't want to get stickers on your feet unless you wear like sandals or something like that. But let me see if I can get inside here. I can get inside here. And I've got room to spare over my head. So this is going to make a nice little shower slash outdoor potty area for when my parents come. And my grandkids and my son. Uh, I can shower out here but I also can put another little composting toilet out here. So they can go potty in privacy. Yeah, I'll make it my nice little outhouse. Normally this tent thingy sits directly on the ground, but like I said, I've got it up on a pallet. So all I did to accommodate for that is I just got some short bungees and bungeed it on all four sides. Yeah, holds it pretty solid. And then there's one back there and another back there and I'm just kind of holding these up with cinder blocks right now until I can get some stakes but it's pretty solid this one this is a heat treated one so yeah I might end up just doing something else with that but it, I mean it's okay <laughs> I would have liked a darker green but they were more expensive and I wasn't gonna spend a whole bunch of money so I've got my shower stall slash outhouse yay there's the eggs for today look at that one this is the second double yoker in a week. Look at that. Let me compare it with the other one. This is today's. This was from a couple days ago. I think they're comparable. But they've got some weird little shaping issues with them. And some ridges and whatnot. I don't know. I hope this is not one of those egg within an egg things like Bobblehead found. Look at that. Oh, I don't know. This one's heavier. Yeah, this one's heavier. Wow, amazing. Jeez, what causes that? Oh my gosh, look at this. Right, that one's buffered. I don't know what that one is. Yeah, that's also a buzzard. Yep. Look at the size of that thing. Oh my goodness. Bye-bye. Other than that, there's not a whole lot going on. I do need to get back there in the back of the van because I peeked in and there's a bunch of bedding, kick tins of water, dispenser thing. And um, I was talking with somebody down in the comments and she suggested not going in and bothering, bothering the chickens because it really upsets the hen. Somebody else said, well, just pick the hen up and you know, look underneath the bird. Nah, you, don't, you really don't want to do that. And I saw it in action. I went in there and I was working with the feed and the waterer and stuff. And uh, Miss Pris got bonkers. She just went berserk. And she tried to peck me. She did peck me. And then she started rushing around. Um, and if I tried to pick up a, a chick to get it out of the way, she would peck at the chick. Kind of like, get over here, you know. That is the worst thing you can do, is pick up that hen. <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess it depends on the hen, really, but it's not a good idea. Because they may start acting aggressively towards the chicks, or even just get so upset that they are running around and trample the chicks. So you don't want that to happen. So no, but I do have to get back there, and I'm going to do it right after I get done here. Um, so until things settle down, I mean, I'll show you the chicks again. I definitely will, and they're doing great. All of them are still alive. Can't believe it. <sighs> so that makes me very, very happy. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video.
thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.